Take me back to a place where I felt at home Take me back to a day when we weren't alone Take me back to an age when the world felt small Way back before we blew it all Take me back to a place where I felt at home Hi, how are you doing today? So, to mix things up, I have here a totally different product for review No oscilloscopes, no function generators Today we have a radiation detector and I will have a bit longer introduction than usual to explain the technology around this device. Yep, our friends at FNIRSI sent their new GC1 nuclear radiation detector and I have to be honest, this one was a bit tricky to do the review and let me right now do a disclaimer that in no way I'm an expert in this kind of devices or how radiation works and I'm a bit out of my comfort zone with this technology. But we are all here to learn and that's what I will do in this review. To understand what this radiation detector does, you have to understand that unlike the radiation of a common electric device like a mobile phone, the ionizing radiation that you get from beta particles, gamma rays or x-rays, and this device detects, this kind of radiation is really bad for your health because it has an ionizing effect that damages the tissue cells. So to detect this kind of radiation, the GC01 uses a geyser Mylar counter. It's basically a tube with uh, some gas that when in contact with this ionizing radiation will react and produce electricity signals that can be counted and thus the term geyser counter. If I got some of this stuff wrong, don't be shy and let me know in the comments. Now that we have the technology explained, I would like to thank Svnirsi for sending this device free of charge for the review. And all my viewers that use the channel access affiliate links and also the product affiliate links in the description to support the channel. I really appreciate your contribution. And remember, it's easy. The price will be exactly the same to you on your shopping, but you will be helping the channel. So without further ado, let's see what this device can do. To an age when the world felt small. Way back before we blew it all Take me back to a place where I felt at home Take me back to a day when we weren't alone Take me back to an age when the world felt small Way back before we blew it all Okay, here we have the box The retail box for the GC01 It's mostly in Chinese, but yeah, but we have here some description in English also and in the back, now in the back we have, uh, it's divided Chinese and English, so yeah, pretty good. Let's open this. Okay, and see what we have in the box. So we have a user manual. Okay, Chinese and probably the second part should be English, yeah, here, here it is. Well presented, color graphics, nice work from Fnirsi. Okay, we have a charging cable, USB Type-C to USB Type-A, and we have the GC one, let me take it out. Very well packed with this foam. Okay. Let me check, yeah. So the unit, it seems to be pretty simple. We have the charging port in here and nothing else, only a few buttons. Okay, let's power it on. Okay, it has a very complete screen. It needs to be charged. The battery is, yeah, <laughs> look, the battery is without charge. So I will charge this and I will get back to this after. Okay, so let's start this. It's pretty fast to power up. As you can see, it's almost instant. This time I will not take this uh, screen protector out because the reflect, uh, this, this uh, area is very reflective. So I will leave it right now. Let me start to explain what we have on the screen. We have uh, from top to bottom 
here it's the current date and the current hour as you can see it's almost 3 a.m this icon informs you that if the trigger is met it will turn the light of the device on it will also shake and also make the sound we have the battery uh, meter in here and we have also here a light that is red when the battery is charging so the indicator in here we have the current micro Sievert. This is the, the name of the unit that is used per hour. So this is a micro sievert per hour. This is the current detection right now. We have in this right column the alarms, the current alarm for the current detection, the cumulative alarm in millisieverts. This one it's micro sieverts per hour. And we have the commodity stored in also microsieverts. In the bottom, we have, we have when this first uh, start being used and the lifetime that uh, already, already was in use. As you can see, I already used this for three hours and 36 minutes. We have also in this box, uh, the average in microsieverts per hour the maximum it detected also in microsieverts per hour and this is the what we have in this screen we can use the right and left keys to change to a, a graphic type presentation we have the minimum the maximum what is the current dose rate it's the same that you have in here and yeah that's it you have a small graphic that shows you uh, the radiation that is detecting. Now, as you can see, this device is pretty simple. The information is pretty clear. It's well presented. We have also some options. For that, you, pre you long press for a while this button that it has the gear. In those options, you, ha you have several uh, sets that can be changed. The first one, it's the units. For units, you, you have sieverts, uh, micro sieverts per hour, you have uh, micro grays per hour, and milli ro ro <laughs> this is this is uh, and milli rongen per hour. This is a, a unit name, uh, a bit hard to say. You also have the counts per second and the counts per minute. Yeah. The next menu, uh, and for and for change, you just go to the right select the unit that you can use and press ok yeah let's this is the the current uh, international accepted measurement so yeah we can also set alarms in here you have the alarm for the current alarm this is in micro sieverts per hour one sievert is the alarm setting and you have the cumulative alarm that is in millisieverts 20 and you can do a cumulative reset if you want to reset everything right now it's uh, 51 micro sieverts okay and that will reset the cumulative counting okay you can also set the system clock okay you have the alarm modes you can use the leds the shake the voice and the led is this icon the shake is this one and the voice is this one and finally you can change the light of the screen let me see if i can change it yeah right now it's brighter and the language uh okay the language at this moment you only have chinese and english but i believe that you will have more language that, than that and in terms of settings uh, that's it as you can see pretty simple to configure pretty simple to use nothing much to quit this menu you just press the return key for a while a long press and that's it okay in terms of testing as you might guess uh, i don't have radiation uh, in hand nor better or x-ray or whatever so uh, it's a bit hard to test this, but a user, a viewer that uh, saw a post uh, in the community uh, warned me that uh, the old watches uh, have that uh, that part, that ink that glows in the dark, 
and that link uh, that ink is radian and normally is detected uh, by these devices you can see that every time he detects something a light comes on in here okay with this information i went and searched for old watches some cheap ones that uh, i had around and you can see that increases a bit the the counting but not much this ones uh, will not do anything this is a a cat watch let me see and i also have one from swatch yeah it will not do anything those ones are modern watches overall i don't use it for a while but they are modern watch you see some variation but nothing uh, significant but i found in my parents house this old watch this is really a old watch and with this one we will see something different let me put it over and yeah it will take a while but it will start to increase and detect as you can see it's changing the maximum it detected it's 0 0.70 uh, micro sieverts and I already tested this and was able to to get to around 90 uh, in another time that I was not recording okay uh, after knowing where is the location of the tube I decided to retest this and let's see if we can go over 90 As you can see, I already passed. I have here 1.13. Yeah, let's see if we can go over 90 so you can see what happens when the radiation passed the alarms that is set. As you can see, the light is blinking, you have vibration, and you have also uh, sound. Yeah. So, pretty cool, pretty cool, really. So now it's tear down time. I can't keep track of them all from people dropping a bomb to people putting up walls. I feel like life is on call, perception stuck in a vault. I know that time can heal all, but how much time till we fall? It's awfully chilly outside. Okay, when let me no just disconnect the battery. The battery is uh, 1100 milliamps. Okay. So this is only for curiosity. I will not analyze too much this. We have a small battery for storing the, the data, the buzzer. And in here we have the tube re responsible for detecting the radiation. Okay, in here it seems that we have a STM ARM 32-bit Cortex M3 CPU. It has 72 megahertz, yeah, 128k of memory, flash memory. In here, it seems that we have connectors for a GTAG connection or something like that. Yeah, a few misc, a few misc uh, components. I don't see nothing special in here. This is basically the tube and the processor. Yeah, the connector for the screen. Okay, that's it. This was only for curiosity to show you what was inside of the device. So I will close this now and wrap this up. Either way, I don't want to be a part of it. Can I just get some space? I don't have the heart for this. I can't be picking up the pieces, fixing scars from this. Is this an argument or just the start of it? I want to drive away so I can be so far from it. I want to find a This device is not for everyone. I'll give you that. And I hope to never need to use to really measure nuclear radiation the way the world is right now, I think that I've been farther from needing one of these devices. But apart from this dark scenario, there is several use cases where you can use the device like this. 
for example on a dentist office in rooms adjacent to the x-ray machine to make sure that the people working on premises will not receive more radiation than expected. Same for x-ray medical centers and so on. For specific use cases, this seems to be a very useful device and it is easy to use with a lot of information and you can even set alarms for the cumulative radiation received. Again, pretty useful if you work in a place where this kind of radiation exists. For me, it was an interesting review. The price of this device is in line with the others I saw in AliExpress, although I must say that for the same price range, the Fnixi GC1 seems to be more complete. I might be wrong, I didn't review any of the others, but by the descriptions, seems to be. Anyway, if you would like to buy one, you have the link for purchase in the description, and again, thank you for using these links to support the channel. I will not argue if, generally speaking, this is a useful device or not. In my opinion, it's for you to decide. I just present the information the best I can. And in that note, if this video was in any way useful to you, slap that like button and if you haven't already, please subscribe and hit that bell to activate all notifications and be the first one to be notified whenever I upload a new video. I hope that you enjoyed this video, please stay safe and far from radiation. As usual, I hope to see you in my next video.